Hey there, it's Polly Peters. In this video, I want to talk about paleo diet recipes and give you one simple recipe to help you with a paleo diet. But before that, I want to share with you my story about who I am so we can get to know each other better. I'm currently diabetes free and at a weight I'm happy with. I've lowered my A1C level to the point I am no longer diabetic and I was able to stop medication. But it wasn't always like that in the past. In fact, I used to really struggle with my diabetes and weight. In four years, I lost a total of seven and a half pounds. Doing vegan, Weight Watchers, gluten-free, you name it, I most likely did it. My diabetes was so bad, my doctor kept telling me that I'd get vision loss, nerve damage, and kidney disease if I didn't change. But then I discovered the paleo diet. I wish I learned about it before I got sick and gained a lot of weight. It wasn't until a colleague at work told me that his neighbor had success with it that I started. I decided to give it a shot as I had nothing to lose. I finally discovered how to control my diabetes, lose the excess weight, and keep it off. After I used the simple recipes in the paleo diet, I was able to go from a depressed, overweight diabetic to a normal, diabetes-free, enjoyable life. I am now able to go to the gym three to four days a week with incredible stamina. Not only that, it feels amazing no longer having to take medication. The following recipe is the exact one I've been using in my diet for the last two years. My wish is that it helps you achieve your goal like it did for me. Now on to the recipe. The Shepherd's Pie. Ingredients. 1 head of cauliflower, 2 tablespoons of butter, 1 to 3 tablespoons of cream, salt and pepper to taste, 3 tablespoons of olive oil, 1 medium onion chopped, 1 cup of frozen organic peas and carrots, thawed, 3 quarters cup of frozen organic green beans, thawed, 1 pound of ground beef, 1 tablespoon of coconut flour or almond flour, 3 quarters cup of beef stock or broth, and 1 tablespoon of chopped fresh thyme or 1 teaspoon of dried thyme, 1 tablespoon of chopped fresh rosemary or 1 teaspoon of dried rosemary, and two tablespoons of butter. Instructions, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Break the cauliflower into chunky pieces and steam until just tender. Now put it in the food processor with two, two tablespoons of butter and process until smooth. Add salt and pepper to taste. Optional, add cream one tablespoon at a time until smooth, but still fairly thick. Now set aside. Heat oil in a skillet over medium to low heat. Add the onion and saute several minutes until soft. Add beef and cook for about five minutes, stirring to break up the meat so it browns evenly. Add the peas, carrots, and green beans and cook another five minutes. Stir in the coconut flour and add broth and herbs and reduce the heat to low and simmer, stirring occasionally for about five minutes. Add salt and pepper to taste. Remove from skillet and put into a nine inch pie pan and spread the cauliflower over the top. Now scatter two tablespoons of butter cut into small pieces on top of the cauliflower and bake 30 to 35 minutes. And that's the recipe of the day. If you enjoyed this video, then like the video and subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to learn more about the paleo diet so you can experience improved sugar control and weight loss, then click the link below the video, take action and go check it out. Again, click the link below, take action, and go check out the page there.